just another day until most Hampton Roads kids will be out of school for the summer. As mental health and social issues among kids continue to rise post pandemic, summer camps may help. Ten of your side, Stephanie Hudson is here with the benefits of something that many of us did as children. Stephanie, that's right. Tom and Lena post pandemic students of all ages have reported struggling with mental health, anxiety, loneliness and stress where camps create community and can create happy campers in ways that you may not have considered. Rowing boats, climbing rocks and creating crafts. The summertime and camps in particular can be a wonderful way for kids to really have optimal development. When kids pick up a bow and arrow and put down their cell phones, parenting expert Michelle Tryon says they grow. The brain is actually being wired in different ways when you're doing something hands-on using your senses than it is if you're doing something only digitally. Freedom from social media and from parents helps build confidence. So their emerging independence and their ability to do something that's enjoyable and maybe that they haven't experienced before, it's all going to be wonderful for mental well-being. Here at Girl Scout Camp, staff is preparing for mental wellness in a new way post-pandemic. GSUSA partnered with the National Council for Mental Well-Being who offers the mental health first aid course. Outdoor Adventures Manager Natalie Lane is now trained to recognize signs of mental health challenges and has tools to help campers work through them, just as she guides them through other tough challenges like the ropes course. You can talk to her and you can be like, I just want you to try it and give it your best. And she does it and she is so proud of herself. And she comes back to you and she's like, did you see me do that? It's those moments that keep Lane coming back and create healthy, happy campers. Now, if you or your child is anxious about going to summer camp, Tryon offers the three P's that might help. Planning, preparation, and processing. Plan to send your child to a camp that fits their interest. Prepare by packing what you need and knowing what to expect. And then process it all when they come home by asking what they did and didn't like, and then if they had some challenges, help them figure out how to do it better next time. Stephanie Hudson, 10 on your side.